as it happens. All suspects are considered innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. <laughs> Trojan horse. It's like the Roman days when they got all the soldiers up there with the... Everybody was hiding in the wooden statue. Except uh, instead of a wooden statue today, we're hiding in the RV. We can cover more distance. If we have to use the space shuttle one day, we'll use the space shuttle. It doesn't matter. We're always coming up with new ways. Everybody in this unit has a great imagination. Yes? When you do the deal, because we're going to be watching, but in case we can't tell when it actually takes place, say, this looks like this is really good. Can I, can I, can I do more business with you? Don't tell them it looks good to you, buy it. Once you get it, say, hey, this looks real good. Can we do more? And we'll be moving in at that point. Okay. Try it. This looks really good, man. If this is good, I'll be back later to buy more. But don't be saying it's good when you first look at it. You got money, Doug? Yep, $30 coming to you. Listen, they heard, Sergeant. Yeah. All right. Frank, let's get them, get them down, get them handcuffed, get their dope, get them in the van. Doug will be taking information. Who's got what arrest? Let's move on. We're going to start off in Lauderdale, and if it works good, we'll head to, to Pompano. We're going to be letting nobody get away today. Okay. On your left. Mm -hmm. All right, head up. You got any dimes, man? You got a dime? You good? Yeah. Ten. One ten, man. Give me. Good. Good. Go, Thanks, go, man. Go, 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 go. Thanks, man. Right there. Right there. I got him. <laughs> he threw the money. Okay, we'll start that scout. Oh. All right, let's go. Let's load up. Hey, you did everything good, except it took you a little too long to catch them. Yeah. Pick up your knees and catch them faster. Oh, that was a good one. Uh, <laughs> dime. Give me a dime. All blue, all blue. All right, thanks, man. All thanks blue. a lot. Yeah! Because, uh, There's the money. He just threw the money down. I got it. I got one. Okay. You just sold to the police, man. Take it easy. Not here, they should be. I get a dime. Quick, quick dime. Come on, man. Is it good? Blue shirt. Let me see. Wait, wait. 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 They both had their hands in, they both grabbed the money. Put your hands behind your back. Whoa! Put that dude! Alright, alright, get his hands. Put that dude! Hey, put your hands in. You sold to the police. You started! No sense. Shorty, what I tell you about selling dope out here in the corner? Was there an exchange? Your mama know where you at? Huh? Your mama know where you at? Probably about. Yeah. How old are you? 16. That's all right, you got it. we got a dope. Let's stay together in a line. We'll go over there, we'll take a break, and then we'll go to Pompano. A lot of people say that we're just dealing with the users. When you do a Trojan horse, every arrest is a narcotics dealer. It's always good to get one of them off the street. For every one of them that you get off the street, you probably 
saving a good 50 uses. Got a dime? No. Me, what is yeah, it, a 20 a or a dime? Let me see it. I ain't gonna rip you off, man. Is it good? It looks yeah, good. Yeah. It looks good. Hold on a second, man. I ain't going nowhere. Okay, thanks, man. Both, both, both. Both of them, both of them, both of them. Right where he started running from, he dropped the money. Hey. Oh, I, put a, just put him down on the face. Just put him down there, look. I don't have anything, man. Not for that. I just don't give me anything. He has ripped me off. Right here. Go out. Get him. Blue. In the blue with the cap. Running between the buildings. He robbed me. Look, this guy. He ripped me off. He ripped me off. You ripped me off. Give me my money. Where's my Where? money? Over here? Where? Right there. Where? There it is. Right there. Where? Right there. And where's, where's the cocaine? You chewed it. Open your mouth, because that's where you got it from, your mouth. Look at you still chewing. Open. Open. Open, please. Open your mouth. Open. Open your mouth. He's still chewing. Look, it's all over his Hold lips. Hold it. Look at his lips right here. It's only, we've only been going now about, I don't know, about 14 hours. Something like that. Now we gotta wake up anyway to do the paperwork. He was straight up. Where's your home address? Partner. This is how many times for you? Oh. This is the fourth time? Yeah. Fourth time for dealing. How old were you when you first got arrested, man? I don't I think 13. And now you're? 16. How you gonna make your money then when you're older? You just ain't gonna get it. Night. No, you better think of a new line of work. Oh, oh. Hey, Shorty, your mama want to talk to you. Huh? Why you say that? Where are you going? Yeah. Uh, you straighten him out? Your husband going to get a hold of him. Woo! All right, we're going to take him over to the juvenile detention center, and they'll call you from there, okay? And then they'll, they'll make a decision whether to let him go or put him on chain gang. <laughs> All right, ma'am. You're welcome. Bye. The belt is gonna well tonight. I'm telling you, Shorty, this isn't the game. No more. Oh, you're just killing that. I look better with or without it. Which house is it, Mickey? Now, what'd you do that on? So then, so then, she's been in the hospital for that for a person. Okay, so time in, time out. That's a gorgeous turn. Okay, anyway. I feel sorry for my sister. But today, I, she makes me mad and I feel sorry for her. All right, now, how'd the fight start today? Because she said. Oh, she's scared for arguing. I'll get you. That's my son. He'll be here in a little while. Okay. She grabbed, she's sitting there and she grabbed this right here to hit me with it and I wrestled my son's picture out of her to keep her from breaking my son's picture. Oh, she, she was a, a grabbing uh, around my arm, uh, trying to take the picture out of my arm. I was going to hit her there. And, and she done this, and she done this, and she done this right here. You were, you were going to hit her with a picture frame, and that's how she, she no, to protect she, herself, grabbed that. I don't, I don't know. I, I grabbed the picture up. Uh huh. And uh, and she grabbed my arm and she done this to me. I wouldn't have invited her into my home after what she done to me. Two weeks two weeks ago we went through the whole thing. Yeah, thing. I know. It. But won't feel never when she leaves. I want her put out. You gonna go back to the motel like you did two weeks ago, or a week ago, however long that was? Or you? I mean, do you want to stay here? 
I don't no, think your I sister don't want wants you to stay here. No, I don't. I don't want to stay either. But I've got my things in there. I'm telling you, I won't have her again. I won't have my brother. I'm a peaceable woman, and I'm a Christian, and a Christian cannot live like this. Okay, me. now, all right, sit down. Why don't you get a drink of water and calm down for a couple of minutes here? <laughs> I'm sixty-seven. What is this? Nineteen and what? Twenty. Nineteen twenty. Okay. I'll slip your watch off here and put it on the other arm, okay? Uh, I have to find a place to stay now. I, I ain't got nobody. I don't know. I can't take you with me. He can't take you. I'll, you as, as far as I'm concerned, you can stay here. But it, I can't stay there. Well, that's something you need to work out with, with your sister. God is not with I know, we've heard this already. I'm not, I know you want me to take her to South Florida State and put her in a rubber room and all. I'm not doing it. I'm just, everybody knows she needs to. Well, no, that's oh, fine. No, I'm not. Why do you have psychiatrists for all the time? Why do you go to psychiatrists all the time? Why do you have a hospital home this? I am not taking her anywhere. If she wants to leave, she's free to leave. If you want her to stay, if I have to come back tonight and there is another fight, somebody is going to end up going somewhere. And it's not going to be a hotel, and it's not going to be a hospital. some strange marks around the neck area. I'm not real sure. There's a lot of lividity. That's the, that doesn't concern me, but there's a couple of strange uh, marks on the neck and jaw area. Okay, ready? Yeah. My guess would be that this is, that we got blood. When you say... There's a little bit of blood on the sheets. We haven't moved the sheets yet, so I don't know. Uh, yeah, Mark's taking care of all that. Um, we haven't moved the sheets, so I don't know what's underneath. I could, I just want to check the rest of the things to see if the perimeter is secure. What I said us to do is just back off now until they get here. Right. Mom, if I get here, we're covered up to now, then. Excuse me, ma'am? Where is she? In the living room or the kitchen? She's in her bedroom. That's all I can say. Ten four in reference to signal five. The lights have been all on all today. One of the gentlemen said that the lights have been on, but that's not unusual that a lot of people leave their lights on. Well, we can't come anything after Tuesday, though. There's no movement after Tuesday. Which would be, I mean, there's a lot of lividity there. Well, once the homicide people have, they'll yeah. check the mail and all that. I just no don't mail. Do no mail in the box, which we ruled out today, though. He left about 15, 15 days ago. About 15 days ago? Yeah, but Monday, Monday morning. She came. Monday morning. Tuesday. I guess me. H-O. H-O. F-F. M-A-N. Everybody rolling? All set. Uh, just before 6 o'clock, uh, we received a call that some neighbors had uh, discovered a woman deceased inside this trailer. Uh, the neighbors came to be here because they were invited to dinner uh, when they had last seen the woman on uh, Tuesday night. Uh, the, got, they got no answer at the door, and that was suspicious because the car was in the driveway. And they noticed one of the front windows was about half open. They took the screen out and entered into the house and made the discovery. This may or may not be a homicide at this point, so we just don't know. It's too early in the investigation. I just want to finish up before we have him come out. Right. What does it look like? Right now, you know, the, uh, it's homicide. The same thing you see. Yeah.
particularly Miami Police Department. There's some good officers out there, very good officers, and I just happen to be one of them, and I'm proud of it. You got it? Want me to sign it? Want me to sign the paper for you, baby? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to sign it. I'm going to sign it, baby. So you're going to sign it? Hey, 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 hey. Don't say nothing about my wife now. You piss me off. Sign it, baby. All right, all right, buddy. All right. There you go. You're trying to write like a football player. You're trying to write like a football player. Uh, That's you know, Officer of the Year. What's the word? What's happening, man? How you been? Officer of the Year? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. How's yeah, yeah. Kim doing? How's workman treating you? Oh, pretty good, man. So you, know, you, you having a baby, right? We had one well, back in January. Oh, boy. Yeah. Can't go wrong? Nah, nah. Good to see you, man. Good seeing you, too. Good work. I'll be hearing about you, man. Trolling the hole. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, man. There's, there's, a, there's a fans that I've arrested, but uh, everybody that gets arrested gets a free pass to eat at the Forge on Miami Beach. You got a gun under there, or you just called? Cold, partner. I believe it. Yeah. Let me see your hands. You know my you know basis. Let me see your hands. You know my basis. Both hands. Hey, yeah, no, Open man. your hands up before you know. What do you got? Huh? What do you got? Oh, oh man. Buddy, you, let me explain something to you. Huh? Possession is a second degree felony, third degree felony. You start tampering evidence, you're a first degree felony. Yeah, you, know, you, know, you, you understand the difference? There's a guy. Hello. How are you doing? First of all, what's your name? Huh? What's your name? Charles F. Anderson. Mr. Anderson? Yeah. Okay. Can I call you Charles? Yeah. All right. This is Eddie. I'm David. David. Do you have some identification on your turn? We'll help you find out where, you, uh, where you're supposed to go and where you live. Northwest. Uh, do you know where you live? Oh, yeah. Where do you live? Rochester. Yeah, that's in, that's in New York, though. I'm talking oh, about that. I get the wrong one now. Okay. Uh, you know your birthday? Huh? You birthday? Know your birth yeah. My birthday's gone by. Okay, what year are we in right now? What, what year? Yes. I don't know what one. What year do you think we're in right now? Uh, I'm not sure on that. Where'd you get the money? You cast the check? Yeah, because my sister has them, see? Where? Where's your sister? To where she's staying? Miami Beach? Hollandale? Where? No, we're up in, uh... Oh, what the hell is that? Hollywood? Boca Raton? No. Okay, I've got a gentleman here. He's apparently lost, confused. He doesn't know uh, where he lives. And the only thing I can find that has some sort of identification is his Humana Gold Plus Plan card. Because I, I remember one time changing the phone sure. just like you. East 54th Street, Hialeah. Does he have a phone number there? Do you live in, uh, had, had that, uh, do you live in Hialeah? This one here? Yeah, is that your house? Oh, that, that's what that is. Yeah, let, let me go up and see. Oh, you got your keys? That's the, I don't know if I got that. So this is the antique one here. No, the, this other way. I know. 
He knows. Think you're the only one who knows how to use a key? This is not the right car. The right uh, thing. Let me check with the neighbor. Is there a number you know where she works at? So he does stay at a home. And that's the bro. Well, apparently nobody's home. Sir, have you been here before? Does this place look familiar? This place called Crisis Intervention? I don't know here. Yeah. Might uh, be. No. He doesn't know where he's from. Uh, here you go, sir. You got a, always a pass the buck attitude going on here, and it even works with mentally ill. From one place to the other, we can't accept him here, we can't accept him there. That gets old. You got a guy that needs help, you're trying to take him somewhere that they can uh, give him the proper help, and then they want to play games. You cannot take him? That's admission supervisor, so he would know. Hi. Hi. All right. We have a missing elderly male. We cannot be driving him around all day, first of all. The only thing I can suggest you do is that you take him to the receiving facility. They wouldn't take him? They wouldn't take him. And we have to have a place where we can just let him be for a while. We responded to Lake 36 report in reference to a missing white male female Charles Anderson in his 70s, brown hair and blue eyes. Is that the study that you have yes. that you're very comfortable yeah, that's the guy we have. You see what happens as the time elapsed into longer time, somebody finally reported him missing. And uh, it wasn't too far, really, from where he was. Oh, there's my sister. We went out to Hialeah, to your house. You live out in Hialeah? Yeah. We went out to your house thinking you'd be home. All over, he didn't know where he was staying. Where were you? Huh? Where were you? I, I got caught out. He didn't know his address. He didn't know his phone number. He said this is Rochester we're in. He was uh, confused. Please to come. Okay. Thank you. You're very welcome. All right. You're very welcome. Keep an eye on Charlie. He'll be all right. He'll be all right. Everything's okay. That's the that's the bottom line. We got a hundred ways of prostitution down here in this county. We've got the tannin parlors, the dance studios. So what we plan for tonight are the call outs and the escort services. Sheriff's office. Sure. You've been hearing a lot in the news about fusion lately, but there's another incredible energy source on the horizon using lasers. See it next on Beyond Tomorrow.